My final project is about Pina Bausch. She was a German performer and choreographer. She was born in 1940 and just recently passed in 2009. She was known for her unique style of blending dancing and dialogue. This was very unique because in her time, most, or when she began rather, most performing um, choreographers and dancers in that time were strictly about the choreography, the dancers, and didn't include much, if any, dialogue. But Pina decided to take that a step further and create her own, her vision. And she did so very well. She was born in Solingen, which is near Dusseldorf um, in Germany. She began her dancing career at a very young age of 14 under Kurt Juice. He was the founder of the German Expression Dance. She grew on, um, went on to graduate in 1959 and was offered to study at Juilliard, which is a very prestigious dance school. During her studies at Juilliard, she was introduced to many new things and she was able to network and connect with a lot of big names. She even assisted with choreography for a lot of big names. In 1962, she joined the Fulkwang Ballet Company. In 1968, she choreographed her first, excuse me, her first piece entitled Fragment. Only a short time, a year to be exact later, she took over the position of artistic director. Her unique style drew a lot of people to her, um, audience-wise and fellow choreographer and dancer-wise. Most of her pieces use this mix of speaking parts and choreographed sections. The style of her work was very structured by repetition. She believed that it was key to her personal style. And her pieces contained an air of the surreal, which means that it was very fanciful, um, very in tune with the elements she liked to include them within her works. Several different pieces that she choreographed and or performed in contained um, a lot or contained an element, um, air, wind, fire, water, earth. She was known for her elaborate productions and massive creations. One piece of hers, Rite of Spring, 1975, she had the stage completely covered in dirt. This was done to signify the mystery and creative power of spring. It was an amazingly powerful display and was very effective in presenting her her vision. Another piece that contained elemental nature was Volmont. The element in this piece was water. How she used water in this piece was she covered the dancers and the stage in water. There was water all over the stage as well as pouring onto the dancers. They even would take buckets of water and throw them at each other so that it would soak them and incorporate this element of water. One of the other key pieces to her creations were the male-female interaction. It was very heavy in a lot of her work. In 1972, she ended up joining the 
Wuppertal Opera Ballet, which the name was later changed to Tanz Theater Wuppertal Pina Bosch. She joined there as the artistic director. Originally, or initially, the style that she brought hadn't really been seen before, and it created a bit of a chaos. This, again, was this mix of dancing and dialogue. It eventually caught on and revolutionized the dancing all over the world. Pina was a very emotional choreographer and dancer, and by this she incorporated the need for love, emotional security, and intimacy into her work. And this displayed through her work, through her creative process, and the audience would really feel it, become a part of her vision, and just her expression. She she wanted those that were viewing her work to experience their own emotions, but to understand the emotions that she presented. But she didn't force them to feel what she wanted them to feel. Each piece that she created was re relatable and emotional. She was considered one of Germany's most influential post-World War II choreographers. She incorporated emotions into her dancing and into her dancers. She would talk to them about their own emotions, how they would feel about the piece, and would get feedback from them about how they wanted to incorporate their particular feelings within the piece. She really wanted her dancers to dance with everything they had, their heart and their soul, not just their physical body. At first she did approach it with a very structured approach, but she did realize after working with several different people and different types of people that everyone was different, everyone had their own unique style. She was a very lovable character. She was described as unique and incredibly effective. Many people were impressed by her and her work and felt that they were deeply moving. One of the most unique attributes about her was her ability of expression. She was able to involve the audience and their emotions to make them feel as if the piece was directed at each and every individual. She did have many notable pieces, but her most famous works were Café Mueller, Near Do, and The Window Washer. Each of these was very expressive of Pina's vision, and she was able to really incorporate her dream, her vision, and represent her emotions through each of these pieces.